So now that we've got a basic version of the game working, and you remember that we can move the car around the track, got a bit of a control system in, and we're looking at how we can develop this game a bit further. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the controls. I'm just going to change this to the left arrow and this to the right arrow, which means I can use those keys now to control it rather than Z and X. What we want to do next in this game, the first thing, the game's working quite well, but one problem is obviously if we're trying to have a race, the car is just going to go off the track and take shortcuts across the grass, which is not going to be a very not going to be a very fair game. People aren't going to follow the track, they're just going to drive around the grass because it, the car at the minute goes the same speed on the grass as it does in the it does on the tarmac. So the next thing we're going to look at doing is adding a variable. If you look at the minute the car is always moving two steps whenever we press space. That's fine for some games, but sometimes, particularly in car racing games, we'll want to use the variables for that so we can change it. We can make it go slower whenever it hits the green for the grass, or we can make it speed up if we bring in bonuses later in the game, like what happens in Mario Kart. You can go a lot faster. So how are we going to do that? So the first thing we're going to do is going to click on data. I'm going to select make a variable. Variable is going to be called speed. I'm going to call it red car speed in case we decide to bring in a different game later. And I'm going to say, I'm going to set it to for all strikes for now. And I'm going to say OK. So now we've made a variable, we've got a few more options that we can do. So the first thing I want to say when the game starts, set red car speed to, it's 2 at the minute, so I'm going to keep it at 2. And now in here we've got to move two steps. I'm going to keep that block in, but I'm going to change this part of it. And that is now we're going to plug in the value for the variable. So if I now press to show this works, press spacebar, you'll see it, the car moves forward this amount now rather than move two steps. If I to change that to 20, it is going to move forward at that speed. Okay, so it's a variable. The idea of the variable is we can change the actual speed throughout the program whenever we we feel it's right to change the speed. So for instance, whenever it's touching the grass, we might want to slow it down. So that's the first part is creating the variable and then plugging the variable into the movement um, brick just so that it actually moves at that speed. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want some way of testing whenever the car is actually on the grass. Change that back. Green flag that. Some way of testing whenever the car goes on the grass, I want to set the speed to a lot slower than 2. And to do this, same way we've done in the past, we're going to use a control. And we can actually add it in here if we want. I'm going to say forever if. So forever. And inside the forever, I'm going to use an if. And I'm going to use a sensing to detect has something happened. Forever if the car is touching the color. No, it looks like it's that color already, but if it's not, we just click on the color. You can see it's changed. So I want to select that color because that's the color of the grass. And what I want to do then is link that up with this code. So this is, we could do it in a separate um, block, but it's fine just to put it in there. As long as it's underneath this part. And we're not putting it in the middle. Um, so that's going to work fine. And we're going to say whenever the car is touching green, we want to change the, the speed of the car. So again, we go back to data. We've made the variable already. So we're gonna, we are going to then say set. Or actually, I'm going to use change. I'm going to say change car speed by, let's try minus one. See how that works. So you can see at the top, we've got red car speed is shown. If we don't want to see that, we can turn it off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the speed of the car. So I'm going to say set car speed to one whenever the car is touching the grass. So the green flag that. Now you can see at the minute the car is in the road speed is two. Now the car is speed one. Now the problem at the minute with this code is whenever we go back onto the road, we are still going speed one. So we want to speed up in the exact same way. I'm going to do another if. I'm actually just going to duplicate this. See if it's doing it again. Put it inside this forever loop as well because we want to check this at all times in the program. 
if it's touching the color black so click on the square for the color click on the color black on the road and we want to set the car to 2 whenever it's touching the grass so now if we go off the track it slows down and if we go back on the track we speed up again so you can see now we've got a more realistic car game at the minute we might want to change it down set car speed to 0.5 that's going to really slow it down it's up to yourself you can put whatever value you want in there and that's going to change the speed whatever you think is the best way for your game which will depend on the size of the car and the speed that it's going at and that is how we can use variable to change the speed of the car at different points in the game making the game a bit more intuitive